IU Health Arnett Hospital's Director of Emergency Services, Brittany Withrow, is urging anyone who has a medical emergency of any kind to go to the hospital as soon as possible. If we talk about situations like heart attacks or strokes, um, there's very time-sensitive interventions that we can uh, perform that can be life-saving and can modify the outcomes of those uh, situations. Withrow wants the public to know that the hospitals are still completely functional in their emergency departments despite COVID-19. This means if you have the symptoms of a heart attack, stroke, or any other medical emergency, you can and still should seek help immediately. They probably fear that they could be exposed to COVID-19 by coming to the hospital. Withrow says this is something the public shouldn't fear because all hospitals are taking special precautions to make sure all patients and staff are safe. First and foremost, there's a screening station upon entry at any entry point into the hospital where uh, people are asked questions regarding flu-like symptoms. Um, we've taken precautions as far as um, not allowing visitors except in very specific and uh, very you know important moments in people's lives. All patients who have or who are suspected of having COVID-19 are kept in a different part of the hospital than people who go in with other conditions. The whole second floor of IURnet is the COVID-19 unit. The providers that are taking care of those patients um, are using protective equipment, um, you know, maintaining all precautions that are put in place by the CDC and World Health Organization. Every hospital worker is also wearing a surgical mask at all times and only certain procedures are done in specified rooms. Tippecanoe County hasn't had a big surge in COVID-19 patients yet, but that doesn't mean our local hospitals aren't ready for it. If that does take place, we're prepared and, um, you know, I think we're all just doing the best that we can and um, I'm really proud of our team. In Lafayette, Eunice Lossberg, Star City News.